Hello there, I'm Matt from JetBrains, and today I want to show you how ReSharper C++ has introduced initial support for HSL-based shader files. These features work with any HSL file you have in your C++ project, and if you're working with Unreal, that means code from your project or the engine itself. You can use Search Everywhere to open by file name, or use a file extension. ReSharper will recognize .hlsl and .hlsli files, as well as .usf and .ush Unreal shader files. But ReSharper is more powerful than that. ReSharper will index your shader files just like it does for C++ source and header files. You can use the Search Everywhere action to search for symbols used in your shader files, such as functions or type names. And as you can see, after listing matches based on symbols, ReSharper will show results from an indexed text search, which now also includes shader files. Once you've navigated to a shader file, ReSharper will help you navigate around it too. You can use the go to file member action to quickly jump to the types and type members within a file. The next and previous member keyboard shortcuts also work. And you can open the file structure tool window for shader files too. Simply type to quickly jump to the member you're interested in. Looking at the file contents, we can see syntax highlighting, but of course ReSharper C++ takes this further, with syntax error highlighting, parsing your code and highlighting syntax errors such as missing semicolons or other incorrect constructs. As with other languages, ReSharper C++ builds a semantic model of the shader file and uses this to provide more powerful error reporting, such as letting you know if you try to assign a float array to a scalar float value, or passing the wrong type to a function call. The semantic model is used for much more too, such as accurate control click go to definition and find usages with results grouped by kind such as read or write access. Or you can highlight all usages in a file and move between them with keyboard shortcuts. ReSharper also helps with readability with parameter name hints and type hints when the details aren't obvious. And of course ReSharper C++ will help you author your shader files by providing familiar editing functionality there are simple typing assistants, such as adding a closing bracket when you type an open bracket. And the semantically defined extend and shrink selection is also available in shader files. And you can easily rearrange code safely and semantically moving complete statements around without having to copy and paste. ReSharper C++ also includes formatting of shader files both as you type and as an explicit action. The formatting is inherited from C++ and we'll be looking at shader specific formatting rules in the future. Code completion works for types defined in shader files, completing local variables, parameters, and local and global functions. ReSharper's smart completion works here too, making use of the semantic model to only show elements that are appropriate for the current location. Parameter info and quick doc pop-ups are also supported, showing automatically as you're editing a function call, highlighting the current parameter as you type. Just like with C and C++, ReSharper understands include files and supports completion of and navigation to types defined in these files. For Unreal Engine projects, ReSharper also understands the virtual file path used to include files relative to the engine's source code and will correctly find the right file. And ReSharper wouldn't be ReSharper without some inspections. Since this is an initial release, there are only a couple, but we can see that ReSharper will highlight dead code, such as a redundant else branch, or redundant code after return. You can even use Alt-Enter to remove unused code. Similarly, unused parameters are greyed out and can be removed with Alt-Enter. You might also notice that some refactorings are available. These should be used with care, as there are some known incompatibilities in this initial version that might produce unexpected results. However, for simple cases, it's possible to rename local variables and parameters, or introduce a variable. As you can see, even though this is only initial support, ReSharper can already do a lot with shader files. Syntax highlighting, syntax error highlighting, control click navigation, search everywhere, go to file member, find usages, completion, parameter info, typing assistance, even some inspections and refactorings. But this is a preview version, and there are known issues and known incompatibilities, so please be aware of this when using on your own code. We'll be addressing these in future releases, as well as bringing on board new features and functionality. Please visit jetbrains.com slash resharper cpp to download your 30-day trial version and try it with your own shader files. Thanks for watching.